Welcome to Excel Practice 5. Start Excel, click Open, then browse to where your data files are saved and open Excel Starter Excel Practice 5. With the Excel Practice 5 open, select File, Save As, Browse, and then navigate to your folder on your flash drive or other location where you save your files. Name the workbook as your last name, underscore your first name, underscore Excel, underscore practice, underscore five. To the left of column A and above row one, click in the square to select the entire worksheet. Auto fit all cell contents and then click anywhere in the worksheet to deselect it. Ensure you can view all of the cell contents and hashtags are no longer visible. Select the range A1 through C1 and merge and center. Apply cell style title. Select the range A2 through C2 and merge and center. Apply cell style heading four. Select the range A3 through C3 and apply cell style 20% accent one. Center the headings. Ignore any spelling errors. We will run this later on. In cell B12, clear the value in the cell if necessary. Use the auto sum function to sum the range B4 through B12. You can use any of the methods previously learned to complete the auto sum function. The formula in cell B12 should look like this. Using the format painter, apply the format in cell A3 to A12. To use the format painter, select cell A3 so that it is the active cell. Click the format painter one time to activate it. The format painter is located on the home tab in the clipboard group. With the format painter active, click in cell A12. In cell C4, type equals, click cell B4, type forward slash, and click cell B12. Make the cell reference B12 absolute in the formula. The formula in cell C4 should look like this. This formula will calculate the percentage of third quarter sales tax. Select cell C4 and format it as a percentage with two decimal places and center the percentage. Use the fill handle to copy the formula through cell C11. Select the non-adjacent ranges A4 through A11 and C4 through C11. To select non-adjacent ranges, select the first range, hold down the control key, and then select the second range. With the two ranges selected, insert a 3D pie chart. This is located on the Insert tab, Charts group. Then select the arrow next to Pie Charts and select 3D Pie Chart. Move the chart to a new sheet named Projected Revenue. To create a chart sheet, ensure the chart is selected on the Chart Tools Design tab in the Location group, select Move Chart. In the Move Chart dialog box, select the New Sheet Options and type in the name Projected Revenue. Notice how a new sheet is added to the workbook with the name Projected Revenue. Change the chart title to Sources of Revenue. To change the chart title, go to the Chart Tools Design tab in the Chart Layouts group, select the arrow next to Add Chart Element, and select Chart Title above the chart. Remove Chart Title and type Sources of Revenue. With the chart's title still selected, Change the font size of the title to 36. Ensure the entire chart is selected. Using Chart Elements, deselect the legend checkbox. Chart Elements is a plus button to the right of the chart. Display the Format Data Labels pane. This is on the Chart Tools Design tab, Chart Layout group. Select the arrow next to Add Chart Element and choose Data Labels and then More Data Labels Options. Under Label Options, ensure the only checkboxes checked are Category Name, Value, 
and Show Leader Lines. Under Label Position, select Best Fit. Click the X to close out the Format Data Labels pane. Select the Category Name and Percentage checkboxes and clear any other checkboxes in this group. Right-click any of the selected data labels, select Font, and apply small caps and change the font size to 11. Select the entire chart area. On the Chart Tools, Design tab, in the Quick Styles group, select Style 8. Double-click inside any pie slice to display the Format Data Series pane. Click Series Options and ensure Series 1 is selected. For angle of first slice, type 220 and press Enter. Under Pi Explosion, type 10% and then press Enter. Notice how the slices of pi are separated. Select the Undo button one time or type 0% for Pi Explosion. Click the X to close the Format Data Series pane. On Sheet 1, notice that Beach Access Fees are 8.05%. Click the Projected Revenue tab and notice how this is represented on the pie chart. In cell B10, type 3,500,000 and press Enter. Notice how the percentage automatically changed to 20.63%. Display the chart and notice how this change impacted the pie chart. Click cell B12. On the Data tab, in the Forecast group, click What If Analysis and click Goal Seek. Goal Seeking is the process of finding the correct input value when only the output is known. In the Goal Seeking dialog box, in the Set Cell box, B12 should be displayed. In the To Value box, type 14 million. In the By Changing cell box, click cell B4. Close out of Goal Seek by selecting OK. On the Page Layout tab, launch the Page Setup dialog box and apply the following. Center the worksheet horizontally on the page. Insert the file name in the left footer. Rename Sheet 1 to Data. Group all sheets. Press Ctrl F2 to display the print preview. Examine both pages of the workbook. In Backstage view, show the advanced properties. Add the following for title, Paradise Beach City Analysis. For subject, BPC 110 and your section number. Make sure that your name is in the author field. And for keywords, pie charts, what if analysis, Goal Seek. If necessary, change the inventory sheet to landscape orientation. Run spelling and grammar check and compare your file to the image below and make all necessary corrections. Submit as instructed by your instructor. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.